All right, so we'll start off with an unknown object that hit the front bumper on the freeway this morning. So it went down here. It probably hit it and then went under the car. That's the guess. So the goal of this video will be to take off the front bumper and take a look at that sensor and find it and reattach and see if that fixes it without having to replace it. All right, so after taking the frunk out, there's the hole, and there's the actual, um, let me see if I can put this here. Is the light still good? Okay. So this is what popped out. Anyway, so I'll have to figure out what adhesive or whatnot that goes to this and put it back. So I might not have to take out the whole entire bumper. Um, I think it just popped out, so we'll see if we can fix that up. All right, so here's the day after I um, produced this fix. Hopefully the audio works. It's really windy outside for some reason. Um, so I, d I think I did a pretty good job. The only issue is it's not as, if you can see here, it's not as flush as I want it to be. Um, if you look at the other side, that's pretty much fairly flush by default. Um, if we look at this side over here, you can notice and see that it's not perfect either. So, you know, it, it is kind of part of the, the quality, I guess, and the fact that it's not going to be super perfect. So what ended up happening was I had to go and get this JB Weld Minute Weld Epoxy in order to, um, in order for the uh, sensor, the plastic area surrounding the sensor to adhere to the back portion of this bumper. Uh, I tried to use super glue and um, it didn't work. And I read online that double-sided 3M tape wouldn't um, stay either for the long term. So use the epoxy. Um, you know, what, what, what you do is, well, get gloves first, and then you put some on your finger, and then you essentially have to reach down and then pretty much paste it on the opposite end of this bumper, but around this area. And then you try to put some within the circular area here, and then grab the sensor and then shove it in, and then you essentially try to hold it there for a minute or so, so it um, cures and it settles. And, um, and then, yeah, pretty much I, sat there probably for a good four minutes or five minutes or whatnot so yeah so this is the next morning and it seems okay i don't want to push too hard but it seems like it's going to function okay um yeah and then the sensor on the car itself was a little bit odd i had to do a reset so that's holding both of the buttons on each side of the steering wheel down uh, because it was detecting, it was weird. It was like a frozen screen of the sensors of all the whole car. So